good day uh, today i want to do a session on our health and before i start on health i like to take this uh, give you a little update on the most pressing issue of our time so now they think uh, lam lambda and kappa variants may also come and uh, the issue remains that early home therapy that could be effective is still not being widely recommended and then the second issue is that antibodies may prevent our natural killer cells moving for the virus which is the best forward defense line in innate natural immunity for viruses so when antibodies get mixed up uh, this might become counterproductive uh, so we await some scientific clarification however uh, today i want to take you to this uh, five, uh, seven star health that's how i named it here are the seven uh, parts of it the five senses then salubrious and serene how rest promotes health then how satisfaction and satiety promotes peace and health then keep your salience in initiation navigation conclude reward and then you will not move into stress stress is a matter of demand over supply so what you have to make sure is that uh, you have enough supply and your uh, supply is not exceeded by the sense of demand so balance your dopamine and serotonin then the sleep and chronobiology i want to talk on work with melatonin and then the sexual fountain keep it out of seduction uh, so here we begin uh, on the five senses so here are some things about health in your five senses we have to train ourselves to see healthy and see hope and see clean and of course the not to do i have a slide on this if you say, i'm dr lalit mendis my last uh, official post was as head of department of pharmacology in a state medical faculty that's why i always speak about uh, some pharmacology issues but today it's it's a health from another seven star health from another point of view a uh, 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 new research has provided that ceylon cinnamon aldehyde can uh, contain or or reduce the dose of dexamethasone needed when the lung gets in, in, involved those who, those of you who have followed me this is my uh, 232 clip number 232 uh, those of you who have followed me you, you have heard me saying uh, treat early so that viral multiplication can be stopped and uh, there is some research on that how the spike protein works it's quite diabolical it gets into the cell and when it is multiplying in the cell it moves from one cell to the other by causing cell cell syncytial process to lias coalesce it's a correct word so from cell to cell this virus keeps multiplying and moving on without coming into the interstitium uh, where the antibodies can work so we had to find molecules that act on the virus inside the cell and such molecules are there uh, so uh, so ceylon cinnamon aldehyde they have found in that is what is what is found in our cinnamon is is found to reduce the dose of dexamethasone needed to contain the lung involvement as you know dex dexamethasone has side effects Uh, by the time when the lung gets involved which is second stage we can reduce the dexamethasone dose third stage is in the lung beyond the immune complex disease the 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 vessels get involved and vessels get damaged very small blood vessels and that causes little coagulopathy little clots in the lung which with a cytokine storm spreads into other diseases those are the three stages of the disease i'll repeat it viral replication to uh, the immune uh, complex disease in the lung the immune attack on the lung and thirdly the uh, thromboembolic phenomena or the thrombotic phenomena going on to other other organs along with a cytokine storm all that can be prevented then another uh, another trial the oxford stoic trial has proven that 
if you give betacinide inhalation early, it will drastically reduce the lung involvement. So betacinide is a known inhaler used for asthma that is quite useful. Uh, another trial has uh, showed uh, from uh, North Carolina University that aspirin in meta-analysis, low-dose aspirin prevents the coagulopathy that develops with this uh, problem. Uh, but today we are going to look at the uh, seven stars of health. I told you the first one is the senses, five senses. Here you see it is, I have taken it, How? what do you do with your eyes? See healthy and hopeful, clean and humble, and uh, lit up eyes. What you shouldn't do with your eyes is unclean eyes, proudful eyes, uh, dark eyes, uh, look down on yourself or others, hurt eyes, uh, mock and scorn in your eyes, all this works against health. Uh, more than we think, our internal health in the emotional area, in our five senses, can affect our physical health more than we think. Before we get to a doctor and look for, uh, look for medicine, uh, pharmaceuticals, we can look after our health uh, quite well in the initial stages. Of course, when you have to go to a doctor, you have to go to a doctor. Uh, so, then you have the English uh, uses of uh, the, giving the glad eye, which has a which has an immoral sense, then the greedy eye. Then you have the bountiful eye, that is to say you look on someone's prosperity with uh, gladness, with happiness, then you get your own prosperity. Then you have heard the term evil eye, w what's that? Some people attach spooky significance for that, that that person has an evil eye, things went bad and so on. But evil eye means a look of, look of evil, you know, you don't intend well for some person. So this is uh, some of the ways in which our five senses uh, bring ill health. Dis-ease, you understand the word dis-ease, isn't it? Dis-ease, five senses. Then the ear, uh, train your ear to receive a good report rather than gather evil report. Also, when you hear something, you can look for the good in it or you can look for the bad in it. So there are people who always can hear the negatives. So what you hear and see is what you speak and do. So we need to take care. Uh, uh, so then you can close your eyes uh, to uh, good advice. So your ear must be healthy. So when I say ear is healthy, it's not about otitis media and so on. This reference is to metaphorically ear, be, ear receiving good reports and uh, we are told good reports keeps good health, yes. When you, are, when you are one who receives good reports, you, have, you keep your health good, you keep stress out of you. So learn to receive good reports and don't turn everything into a bad hearing. Next one I'm looking at is of the five senses touch. You have good touch and bad touch, we teach that to children early, isn't it? Yes, and in, in the world over and in Sri Lanka these days there's quite a lot of uh, rumpus, trouble, tragedies about children being abused, beginning with bad touch. Then you have an eye of blessing, a touch of blessing. You have heard the statement, green fingers, that whatever you grow, grows well. Uh, so I just pointed to you some, some asked five senses and our health involvement. Then we have taste, uh, so keep your appetites uh, uh, clean. Uh, rather than a perverted ap appetite. Book of Proverbs talks about stolen bread and stolen waters regarding marital infidelity. So keep your appetites uh, clean and may you be one who is satisfied easily, that you will not be hard to please, uh, that, that you easily become dissatisfied. Uh, so let, let not be that. Then finally, the smell, uh, you, you, you know, smell is used, keep your discernment good, yes. Uh, there are some uh, conditions, uh, in COVID, of course, you lose your smell. It's called anosmia. That is because our olfactory, that is the, the smell uh, fibers, go through a tricky part in our basal olfactory plate in the skull bone, and with inflammation that's get affected. So that, but that's a, a fairly diagnostic sign of the disease. Uh, that is losing sense of smell and then you lose taste also when you lose uh, smell. Then you say smell a rat. 
that means something not so good is going on and so don't be undiscerning keep your eyes open keep your nose open i want to get to the other six uh, so uh, taking a good re the rested feeling celebrate serene uh, migraine comes on with uh, when you are not rested migraine comes on because serotonin does the wrong thing so to keep our health uh, maybe i should tackle stress uh, stress is keeping supply adequate for the demand so that means you you should be professionally qualified to do what you do if you find that your your level of ability is not enough try to increase your ability and skill so that you supply to match the demand you can also ask your boss to reduce the demand of course with that he may also cut your pay these days who knows so stress is is a, it's a balance stress comes from what i have is not enough and you can place a demand on yourself being a perfectionist so that you want to do everything without any line of error which is impossible human beings err yes so you have to agree with that excuse me uh, so this is uh, keeping stress out of your life uh, keeping stress out of your life involves neurochemicals as well as your brain in our brain in the resting mode there's unidirectional firing of neurons they 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 are circuits work in a uniform way when you are rushing uh, moving towards stress the neurons begin to uh, begin to uh, neurons begin to uh, work in a restless way it is called multidirectional firing of neurons which is not good uh, so we must keep ourselves uh, without getting our neurons into multidirectional firing that's what kids do or you will do if you are too long on the on the digital screen the pixel stimulation uh, drives you into this uh multidirectional mode of neuronal behavior along with that comes your uh, working memory begins to go down and down and then there's a stressful pattern of uh, memory in the brain which means your random memory is now not enough brain behaves like a computer rather the rather the computer is designed keeping the human brain in mind so your working memory begins to scramble and you don't have enough working memory in stress time so your performance falls while you think you are doing well enough so besides the dopamine uh, serotonin balance there is also a neuronal phenomenon going behind you where you feel stressed so what you should do is get back to your uh chronobiological rhythm from morning 6 observing uh, sunrise i did a excellent clip i uh, i would like to say yesterday my clip number 230 and this would be clip number 231 or 232 anyway uh, if you want any of these clips you need to send me a whatsapp to my whatsapp number don't phone please Uh, plus ninety four seventy six three one three four eight double zero. If if it's from Sri Lanka, it's zero seven six three one three four eight double zero. If it's from overseas, plus ninety four seventy six three one three four eight double zero. So to keep your uh, dopamine and serotonin in balance, keep every hour, please, and start uh, in in the morning itself. Keep every hour. so that you keep the hour by doing 45 minutes you work with salience you keep working uh, to salience we need to focus initiate navigate successfully conclude get that sense of reward that serotonin comes up so initiation navigation do it to the end comes from dopamine that's good so dopamine works for 45 minutes then serotonin comes and dopamine must go down after 45 minutes then serotonin comes up and checks back uh, looks back and says how can you improve uh, this needs improvement it moves you for reward motive it says good this can be improved that this becomes a character feature when you keep your default mode network 
when you break your default mode network, your character also goes wrong. One, you may be hasty. Two, you may assess yourself too much. Three, on the other hand, you may say nothing came right when you have done reasonably well. So when you are in stress, you underperform and complain. Uh, so don't go there. Keep your every 45 minutes for salience and don't do multitasking. Do one thing at a time. 15 minutes for serotonin assessment, check back for satiety. It's, it is giving satisfaction. All this is part of the seven star health system. So I have done five senses. First one. Second one I took uh, avoiding stress with salubrious, serene uh, habit of resting and then satis moving from and keeping satisfaction and satiety which means keeping serotonin well. Then I have discussed salience which means initiation, navigation, conclude to a, till the reward motiv motivation comes. Then I have told you how to balance your demand with your supply. So even professionally you might have to acquire skills if you feel you are, you are being pulled up for not being underperforming. Uh, you might have to negotiate, as I told you, a little reduction of demand in your work field till you are able to acquire the skill. Because stress is, and it begins with anxiety, it, it is a matter of, it's a balance. So you, when you hold the balance, you found your demand is too much and your supply is too little kind of thing. Uh, then uh, we have to attend on our sleep chronobiology. I have said this many times because our sleep chronobiology, we have real biological clocks. It's written in our genome. They have to be kept satisfied, not upset them. And you begin that. It's not difficult. A little bit of knowledge is all that you need. You, in the morning when you wake up with sunrise, the retinal photosensitive Reginal ganglion cells uh, begin to take in the fact that morning has come. So I have told you often, you nor your children should get up late, then you get jump started into the day which provokes cortisol, which provokes adrenaline, eventually it provokes diabetes. So get up with sunrise and see a bit of sunrise and uh, get your chronobiology into order. Uh, because your immunity is all primed up in the night and when you get, uh, when you have disturbed your night, your immunity goes down and when you wake up in the morning late and try to rush, you are destroying your immunity and many diseases are based on your immunity. Even cancer cells, cancer is a change in the chromosome of one cell in one organ and that wrongly made cell is detected soon by survey cells of our immune system and immunity is good. So reason for cancer is immunity going down. Otherwise when cancer cells are made, uh, the immune system picks up the cancer cell. Immune system is really God's policeman in your body, if you, if you may. So get up with your sunrise and get your, uh, get your uh, immune system uh, to function maximally and then get your chronobiological rhythm and the insulin growth hormone cortisol cycle awaken gradually and gently and then you're looking forward to the 12 hour timetable that is ahead of you from 6, p 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. and you teach your kids also darling this is how you look at a 12 hour timetable and you get them to survey through the 12 hours it is best that dad does it every day for your child so before you rush out for work or get online, please give some time for your kids. Help them to look at the 12-hour cycle, one hour, one hour. Uh, write down the cycle uh, timetable, though you write it for the whole week. Daily do a refreshing of it so that the dad's input over their 12 hours is very important. Let me read to you something. The mind of the prudent acquires knowledge. Ear of the wise seeks knowledge. So, I told you our eyes have a good look. Our ears should seek knowledge and good reports. The, that then we are set like that for wisdom. The spirit of a man can 
endure his sickness, but as for a broken spirit, who can bear it? So stress is about, uh, so health breaks, there's a broken spirit. Many people don't understand spirit. They think we are a computer, we are a body only. But many people have said who have come out of COVID, how much in the spirit they said, I'm not going to die, I'm going to live. So spirit kicks in, balancing many things we have done wrong. This is where the Good Shepherd comes in and says, uh, you will not want if I can lead you. I, I give you green pastures that are satiation for the now, and I lead you into more, to more fountains and more resources, more resources. That means he increases the supply when the demand goes up. Three, he brings us into places of restoration to get the balance right. What balance? When we feel the demand is going up, he brings us into restoration. He restores my soul. <coughs> and then he builds into me paths of righteousness where I don't go crooked. It is built into me. I am kept straight. I don't go rough. I am kept smooth. I don't go into the valley in depression. He keeps me on level ground. And I don't become too haughty and ride the high horse. Because those who ride the high horse exhaust too much dopamine, get adrenaline going, and they go, ha, exhausted. We don't want to go there. The spirit of a man can endure his sickness as for a broken spirit who can bear it. This needs a complete talk, but you have understood the thing called a broken spirit. Don't go there. You don't have to. Uh, then a man's gift makes room for him. So are you in that position? You are satisfied with what you have. I am the good shepherd you will not want. And I give you green pastures that are satisfactory and adequate. Are you there? Man's gift makes room for him. Present room is enough. Space and time is enough. But he makes more room where for the next step that's how children also grow. Good shepherd makes more room. How do you feel about your life caged in? Not enough room. Nobody appreciates me. Uh, my time is over. Then you you die an early death. You, sometimes people die inside before they physically die. Uh, so that should not be the case, isn't it? We should be fully alive even if we are 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, or 80, or 90. We saw how, uh, how the Duke of Edinburgh, he was fully alive even at the age of 99. And they, they said he kept himself alive so that his wife, the Queen, may keep functioning in her role. Yes, a man's gift makes room for him. So are you in that process, you feel more room is being made for you by your family, by your workplace, uh, by your friends, by your spiritual friends, uh, by, uh, by your colleagues, how do you feel? There's more room, room is made for me, or you feel <coughs> constricted, bound, no one cares for me, no one... So we don't want to go there. Man's gift, and where did that gift come from? So the good gift comes from the Father of Light, from whom every good gift comes. And He's working in us to make that the complete gift. I have told you this before, one part of stress is you feel you have a good gift, you feel this is your stretch, this is where you should be, but you find you're narrow, you can't get there, you're narrow. Then you have hurt, you have humiliation, then sometimes you have fear, I can never get there. Then you begin to have hatred, which is a reaction about what others have. Then you have lost it, yes. We don't want to go there. Man's gift, so we are thankfully saying, Good Shepherd, take me to the best of the gift you have for me. That's what we are saying. A man's gift uh, uh, takes us to that, uh, the best uh, he has for us and brings him before great, leads him, directs him into greatness, brings him, leads him before great men. So do you feel your life is being led step by step? decisive, directional, you are moving in a destiny to a destination or in a season to season or do you feel oh, you are going around the mulberry bush, nothing is happening, I don't know where to go. Yes, when Cain attacked Abel and killed his brother, he really said a, said a, said a few things that is good to look at that we may never go there. 
But to understand the human predicament, there is so much good. It is like the picture that Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, is supposed to have uh, drawn up on the roof of one of those huge uh, churches, I think. And he was looking at it, it was so beautiful, he kept going back and then he was about to fall off when his student, astute student, took a pot of uh, paint and just threw it on the picture. And uh, Michael Angelo lunged forward quite angrily. Then the student said, Sir, I saved your life because you were going to trip off. And then there was a good picture and all blotched out. That is human life. Beautiful design. But we have blotched it in different places. But the good news is the Good Shepherd says, I, I will see to it that you will have satiety in green pastures. I will see to it that you will have more. I'll make more space for you, buy more resources. I will bring you to a restoration, place of restoration, where your sense of demand overtaking you is balanced with supply. And then I will make you the ways that take you straight rather than how Cain said it, this is how Cain said it, my punishment is too great, driven, driven out, I feel driven out, my face will be hidden, I'll be a vagrant, I'll be a wanderer. So that, that's not a good sense at all. He, he lost the sense of where he began, he lost the sense of where he was going. But the Good Shepherd sees to it that we feel we are being led from a man's gift makes room for him. There's a good gift that has some more growth to come. So all my life I keep growing in the gift God put into me. And there's room, room is made for me, and I will have a table furnished by him. Enough, enough room, enough provision, right people, right placement. Enough room, enough provision, right people, and right placement. That's the gift of life. Good Shepherd can give us, and He brings uh, us, brings Him before great men. Always there's a leading on to greater things, leading on to greater, uh, greater purposes. That's the, that's how we can get on in our life story. I hope this helps you. And there's a seven uh, star health regarding your five senses: salubrious and serene, satisfaction and satiety salience that is from everything you do every hour that's uh, keep satisfaction going don't uh, end the hour with dissatisfaction you carry it to the next one and then your amygdala is active amygdala is a little uh, gall gallbladder in the brain so to say it remembers all the bad things it remembers the excitable things it remembers the sorrowful things it remembers the um, the the uh, the unfair treatment. It, it, amygdala always puts up a sense of it, that went wrong, this went wrong, I'm badly treated, yeah. Uh, so amygdala is always on the watch out for what may go wrong. That's a necessary watch out. But when it drives you from one hour to the other, that sentry called amygdala that picks up the bad things, you're always on a repetitive mode of bad things, then you're not in executive empathic mode of the of the uh, prefrontal cortex being planning executive, empathic for initiation, navigation, record. You're in a bottom-up regulation that went wrong. That so your last bad thing is driving you, and your expectation also becomes it won't be good. It will be just like the other day. No, we need deliverance from that, isn't it? So that's that's about salience. I took uh, that important thing to remember about salience bringing satisfaction. Then I told you about stress, how to balance demand and supply, balance your dopamine and serotonin, then the sleep chronology. I think I should mention a little more. One, one subject remains the sexual fountain. About sleep chronology, uh, from 7 p.m. melatonin begins to secrete. So you must see the sun down, very important. Stop the LED lights, stop the screen, go out, play with your children, every day, if possible every day, but at least some days see sun down. And then and then it sets you up and reduce your fast screen time after 7 p.m. and stop your screen two hours before uh, going to sleep. So put on the night mode. If you can work on an older laptop with LD LCD screen, so much the better. Don't do a lot of work on iPad, tab and uh, smartphones because they have too much pixel consumption. Uh, so these are some of the things you can reduce your pixel irritation 
so that you don't disturb your night sleep. So during uh, sleep time, you have uh, dream sleep and no dream sleep, REM sleep, rapid eye movement and non-rapid eye movement sleep, NREM, four cycles uh, rotating. Initial dreams will look like bad dreams, that you are working out the bad things of the day, then you end up with happy dreams, good dreams. If you are always waking up with bad dreams, it's probably post-traumatic stress disorder. You need to attend on what was, what is the bad thing that I am ruminating on, chewing the cup, you know. Because you are waking up dreams by about 4, 4.30 in the morning uh, should be nice and you wake up happy. If you are waking up grouchy with a bad dream, that needs attention. No drug can give normal sleep. So don't think Valium can improve your sleep, it can't. So do your best to avoid drugs. There are a few things you can do if you are... Some people don't fall asleep easily. Some people, that is because of anxiety. Some people wake up from sleep after a short time. That is when you are moving into depression. So it's two of the same spectrum. I can't do much on this. Uh, but there are a few things. If, if, you, if you have ch good childhood memories of drinking a warm cup of milk, before bedtime, drinking a warm cup of milk may help you to sleep. Then a warm bath. Again, it's a childhood thing that gave you joy. Yes. Uh, so capture the GABA time for your children, which means when they're falling asleep, GABA minor benzoic acid, butyric acid, GABA, is giving them empathy. That's the time children will want to say, Tati, this went wrong. So be available at that time. And you also go to sleep consciously when that GABA time comes, tell your spouse what went wrong. Have a relationship like that with the spouse. Yes, so keeping your night sleep. Uh, disturbed night sleep has to do a lot with pixel light. Alcohol, every bit of alcohol will ruin your sleep. Yeah, you, you just completely... Alcohol inhibits GABA. GABA says, go gentle, think of others. And you know what, when you take alcohol, you don't think of anybody else. You're loud and you lose all the GABA uh, temperance. That's right. It's GABA that gives temperance. GABA minor, vitric acid. Now, man is not only brain and chemical molecules, man is spirit. So I read to you, I read to you, the spirit of a man can endure his sickness. Very difficult thing, spirit of a man can endure. But as for a broken spirit, who can bear it? So we must attend on things before the spirit breaks. Good shepherd attends on our spirit. Doctors can't. You can't. Good shepherd can. Uh, then, uh, finally we come to sexual fountain. Uh, you know, uh, stole uh, the children uh, and even adults on the risk mode with the digital screen, pixel screen, drives us to bottom-up regulation, try and see, peril and thrill. You're on a fright, flight, fright mode. Uh, you dare and do. Uh, in singular, we have panintapera sita balanu. Pixel screen gets you to sitanna tapera panela balanu. Uh, really, children go like that. Uh, translating it, uh, think before you jump. I think in sing English also you have that. But the pixel screen drives you to jump before you think. Uh, so they get sexually precocious, bad experiments. Uh, and we have, uh, I have re uh, said this to you before. This is, the, this is the feeling like they get there is a generation who is pure in his own eyes, yet is not washed from his filthiness, because they don't think anything is filthy. That is the problem. They don't think anything is filthy. We must save our generation from this. Uh, and then uh, during uh, these times, lockdown, shutdown times, many couples have found problems with uh, discovering husband in pornography and so on. So these are... Un uh, uh, pornography drives dopamine like cocaine. When you're on pornography, it's a thing of do, do, no satisfaction. It's a dopamine thing without serotonin. Uh, that's why pornography is so addictive, so is gambling, so addictive. You get on to an addictive uh, receptor. Dopamine, physiological, works, works, and comes down in 45 minutes. That is D1 receptor, dopamine 1. But when you stimulate dopamine too much, as it happens in pornography. Uh, what happens, it moves to dopamine 2, then dopamine 2 is addictive behavior. Just cocaine does the same thing, drives people into dopamine 2. I think I have spoken enough. 
Uh, so, uh, uh, today I can't do too much on the sexual fountain, but that sense of satiety uh, with your life partner is the thing. And uh, what uh, everybody must know is, after the age of 43, you must keep more time for your spouse. Secondly, men think sex even when they're 80 and 90. That's the way the male psyche is. So you have to have a balance with a dwindling body. How can you feel? Keep sexual satisfaction. Yes, uh, so I trust this is helpful. Uh, my app is Golden Nuggets app. All these clips are in it, Golden Nuggets. You can download it for free from uh, Google or Dr. Lyle Mendes, uh, Golden Nuggets, or from Apple Store. It's available Android as well as uh, iPhone. Uh, so thank you for listening. That's about it. If you want any more of these clips, of uh, I have done a masculinity and sexuality clip uh, that is available. If you want any of these clips, please send me a WhatsApp number to plus ninety four seventy six three one three four eight double zero. Also, uh, please don't write the phone. Tell me the subject you want. Uh, we will be able to send you the clip. Thank you for listening.